One, two, one, two, three, four. The finger bone's connected to the hand bone. The hand bone's connected to the wrist bone. Knowing that level of anatomy may be fine for ICD-9, but it won't cut it for coding ICD-10. You need to know a bunch more about human anatomy and physiology to code properly in ICD-10. The codes are much more specific. So what is anatomy and physiology? Glad you asked. Well, anatomy is the study of the structures of the body and the relationships between body parts or systems. Physiology refers to the function of the body and its 10 organ systems and how they work. Or in our case, how they don't due to disease, illness, or injury. Here's an example of why you need to be well-versed in anatomy. Let's say a patient broke their wrist and you need to code it. First, you will need to know that the wrist is made up of eight carpal bones. In ICD-10, each bone has a different fracture code. So next, you will need to know what bone was fractured. We'll say the patient fractured the lunate. Now, try to look up fractured lunate in the ICD-10 alphabetic index and you'll be out of luck. You'll have to go to fracture traumatic carpal bone lunate to find the code. You have to know the wrist is made up of carpal bones and that the lunate is one of those bones. But you can't stop there. Was it a displaced or non-displaced fracture? And was it the right or left wrist? Oh, and you'll need a seventh character in this category of codes. You'll need to add an A, B, D, G, K, P, or S to indicate if it's an initial visit or a subsequent visit, if it's an open or closed fracture, if it's healing correctly, and my personal favorite, S for sequela. That just means a condition caused by previous disease or injury. Now that was a simple example even with its 42 possible codes. Try this with cardiovascular surgery. So what does this mean for you? While you should already have a good understanding of anatomy and physiology, you will be applying much more of that knowledge with ICD-10 because the level of detail needed to code is so much greater. You can't take shortcuts and rely on unspecified codes as in ICD-9 anymore. If the documentation is insufficient, you'll have to go back to the provider for clarification. So how do you prepare, you ask? Take an anatomy class at your local community college or go online and do research. Several coding associations, such as the American Academy of Professional Coders and AHIMA, offer great online courses and resources. Knowing that the foot bones connected to the shin bone just won't cut it anymore. Nuts, huh?